All right, guys. So in this parallel parking uh, video, we are not just going to look at how to do parallel parking, but we will also look at what are the general mistakes, the most common general mistakes uh, when students are doing parallel parking in their driving test. So the step number one is your signal. So right now uh, we are parked. We are in a parked position here, and the curb is on the right side. So that means before we start doing our parallel parking, before we start moving, we have to indicate and shoulder check. So if the curb is on the right hand side, then we signal left, left shoulder check to indicate other drivers, other traffic that we are going to start moving from parked position. As we are approaching to the space where we want to parallel park, we put the right signal on to indicate the traffic behind us that we are going to parallel park here. Now obviously in a parking lot, uh, there's not a lot of traffic, but in your driving test, you still have to show to your examiner um, that you know about the rules. Okay, so in Manitoba, they ask you to do this parallel parking in MPI parking lot. And a lot of time it's gonna be empty, there's not a lot of traffic, but you have to pretend like you're on a busy street and you're checking traffic all the time. So that's why we the signals are very important when you're doing parallel parking in your driving test. If you don't put the signal on, they will uh, deduct points. In Manitoba, if you don't put the left signal on, that's a one point deduction. If you don't uh, shoulder check, that's um, another point and that's gonna be second deduction. And if you don't have your right signal on, that's gonna be a deduction as well. They will also check how far your car is from the poles. So when you're parallel parking, you should have about um, two feet distance or maximum three feet uh, from the yellow post. Now you have to same idea here. You have to pretend like you're on a busy street. You're not in a parking lot and you should be in the middle of the street when you're doing this parallel parking. Okay, so if you're too far from the yellow poles, that means you're blocking the whole street. That means you're in the left lane and you're blocking all the traffic. So let's continue our parallel parking. So now we have our right blinker on. Then we look for um, this yellow post. So this yellow post right here, it represents the back side of this car. So we are looking for this yellow post in the back triangular window of our car. So now we see a yellow post here and um, now the most common question uh, I get asked is uh, okay uh, this is great Mendy but if I'm taking my personal car and if I don't have that triangular uh, window in my car what I do that's a very good question if you don't have that triangular window in your car and you're gonna be taking a personal car for your driving test you can simply look for this yellow pole or you can line up this yellow pole with the back windows same thing in real life situation if you're going to be parking in between the cars this yellow pole will represent the back side of this car so the brake light or the rear bumper of this car so when you see that yellow post there the next step to uh, next step uh, for our parallel parking is to shift into reverse look on uh, check on both sides make sure there's no traffic again remember you have to pretend like you're doing this uh, on a busy street not in an empty parking lot so you're checking traffic you're looking for pedestrians you're looking for cyclists all right so you want to show that your examiner need to see um, that you're checking you're doing your 360 check when you're doing parallel parking so crank the wheel all the way to the right, uh, check again, so left shoulder check again just to make sure it's clear and then we start to back up. Now the next step is um, as you're reversing uh, for your parallel parking, I want you to look in the left mirror here, you're looking for two yellow poles in the left mirror. Now in real life, the two yellow poles, they will represent the front headlights of that second car. So right now we're just going to focus uh, more on the left mirror. You should be looking around as you're, um, when you're looking in your mirror, your, this mirror is your main focus, but at the same time you still want to look around to make sure um, you're not going to interfere with something, okay? 
so now we see a yellow pole here um, so we are looking uh, we we need to see both yellow poles so we see one and now we see both yellow poles in the left mirror so basically what we are doing is we are setting the angle of the car so now we have both yellow poles in the left mirror and in real life that's um, that's going to be the front of the second car so now we can straighten out our tires so we turn the steering one and half time to the left and then we back and straight now guys this step right here is the most important step when you're doing parallel parking if you back up too much that means you're gonna bump into the curb or you if you're going too fast you can go over the curb as well and that's gonna be automatic fail now in Manitoba if you bump into the curb you don't lose any points but I know in lot of other provinces uh, if you bump into the curb um, that's an automatic fail so make sure when you're reversing you can look in your right mirror um, to gauge your distance and um, that judgment it's obviously it's gonna come with more practice more experience and that's why you have to parallel park you know as many times as you can uh, before you go for your driving test so what you're looking for is when you're backing up you want to see when when you notice the back uh, tire is about a foot away so 10 inches or 12 inches away from the curb that's when you turn the steering completely to the left side and then back up more okay so let's um now it's a very important step so let's uh, watch it again okay so here this is a perfect distance so the back tire of the car is about uh, 10 or 12 inches from the curb that's when i will crank the wheel all the way to the left and then i back up more as i'm reversing i'm still looking in my mirror to make sure i'm not going too close to the curb and i'm also doing um I'm also looking over my shoulder to make sure I'm not going too close uh, to the back car here okay so now the when the car is parallel to the curb that's when we stop you can move forward to center yourself and uh, when your uh, examiner give you the okay uh, your parallel parking is perfect before you move out you have to signal left again left shoulder check to indicate um, that you're going back in the traffic.